Hello everyone, this is Gary Bennett. Thanks for visiting ExcelMe.com. I just wanted to take a few minutes here and make a YouTube video that explained uh, the website, um, the courses, who they're for, how you enroll, what you get out of it, and how you, um, how you learn to become a successful iPhone or iPad developer. So um, I'm going to take you real quick through how you know which course is right for you, how to enroll the courses and what you get, as well as the forums and some of the other learning material that uh, we have to help you become a successful iPhone, iPad, iTouch, iEverything, no, uh, developer. Um, first of all, uh, you can see there's some buttons here on the home page that uh, take you through if you're a brand new developer and you've never um, written any software before or have never even learned to, uh, to write software, uh, which courses that you should take or if you program before but just not on a Mac or an iPhone, um, what courses you can take as well as the new iPad uh, course that we're now offering our iPhone iGame, uh, our iPhone iPad game programming course. And if you do have a little bit of Mac uh, programming, um, which courses that you should take. And we also offer a um, iPhone marketing class as well. So if you click on any of those buttons, they will take you to um, the classes that go in sequence that you can go ahead and take. Now they are progressive, uh, sequential. And if you've never programmed before, um, recommend that you start out with the Introduction to Object-Oriented Programming and Logic for iPhone developers. Um, it's a class that takes you through all the OOP principles um, and logic principles that you're going to need to know to become an iPhone developer. To become an iPhone developer, uh, the main language, the only language, is Objective-C uh, 2.0 um, on um, Xcode, the Xcode Integrated Development Environment. Um, from that, we learn and we build on to go on to our Coco and Xcode course. Okay, Coco and Coco Touch is what we use to um, utilize the uh, framework and the SDK for the iPhone. It allows us to use all the controls, all the buttons, everything for the iPhone. And Xcode is the integrated development environment where you actually write your code and debug your code. Not that, of course, you'll be debugging your code because it will always work. Uh, we, we wish, anyway. Um, and then from there, we have the two SDK courses, SDK courses that take you through um, everything for um, learning how to use the main parts of this huge um, software development kit uh, that we get from Apple. All right. And then, of course, if you want to um, write iPad applications, then you can take the last course, which is the... Um, uh, learning to write for the iPad. It assumes that you've already known or have um, taken those courses or you've written iPhone applications before. And so we take you through all the things that are unique to the iPhone uh, SDK currently 3.2 uh, that is out. But wait six months and it will be 3.3. <laughs> um, so anyway, now you see what courses they're offered. Uh, you can click on the schedule and kind of look at what uh, is going on in the schedule. Now again they're sequential so if you have programmed before then I recommend that you come in and that you take the Objective-C 2.0 uh, for iPhone developers. All the classes are a month long. Uh, the ones that are live uh, they, um, they're twice a week either on Tuesdays or Thursday or uh, Tues Tuesdays or Thursdays or Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, they typically start at 5 p.m. Um, Pacific time, uh, that's regardless if it's uh, a daylight sa savings time or not, and they're all recorded as well. They're all done live through webinar, um, and you get an invite, and um, when you join, you sign up, you join, and you get an invite for the webinar. It explains to you how to go ahead and connect. What you need uh, for the courses is a uh, Mac, any type, type of Intel Mac, running um, Tiger, um, excuse me, Leopard or Snow Leopard, all right? So that's 10.5 or 10.6 version of the OS. Um, you get Xcode for free um, on your CD install disk, your, actually your DVD install disk for your operating system. And I walk you through on the, um, on the Xcode and the Cocoa class how to, how to install that and where that's located on your DVD for your operating system. All right, um, 
I'm going to have also a little video up for each course as well that you'll see when you click on the course. You should see um, a little video that explains each course as well. Now, all the classes are live um, and they're also recorded. So if you see um, the schedule here and you're like, oh, you know what? I really want to take, I really want to start from the beginning here and do the um, start with the introduction to object oriented programming and logic course, but it does, I got to wait till July. Well, all the courses are recorded from the very last time that I gave them. So if you join, usually within 24 hours, you get an email from us with all your registration information saying that you're enrolled and where you go to um, watch the recorded sessions. All right. And you still have full interaction with other students and myself. I'll show you a little bit how to do that. And... Um, and then you have also access when the live co course starts in July, you can take the live course. You have access to all the recordings and you have access to the live courses for as long as you need. So a year from now and you're like, oh, you know, there, there's some new stuff that came out in Coco um, and Gary and uh, maybe I want to stop by and see Gary's class and, uh, and, and do the live courses again. It doesn't cost you anything more. You for the $97 or whatever forever you paid for the course, um, you get access um, to the recordings and the live courses over and over again for as long as you want. Pretty good deal. So things are always changing. I'm always changing the courses because I learn from the students what um, what they need to know as well as the course material changes because the technology changes. So it's always good to stop by if you want to take a refresher class on a particular topic that I uh, gave. Um, you can. You can listen to the recorded or you can sign up and, and I'll show you how to do that to get access to the... Uh, to the live courses. All right, so when you um, when you sign up uh, again within 24 hours, you're going to get a link to my training forum, and on my training forum, um, you'll get access to the classes that you signed up for. So let's say you signed up for I don't know the Objective C 2.0 class, and you'll see a link you'll have access to for the registration information for the web webinar. You click on this link here and you enter your information and it will send you, uh, the webinar information will send you a link and uh, calendar invites to import into your Outlook, you know, heaven help you if you're using Outlook, I'm just kidding, or um, your uh, your calendar uh, in uh, on your Mac and you can import that and it um, gives you the links and the times in your calendar automatically. <clears throat> All right, so again, uh, you need a Mac. Um, Intel based Mac and either Snow Leopard um, or Leopard in order to um, both use the webinar and also to program on the iPhone minimum requirements and or, and or a touch and iPhone or iPad all right so um, so now that gets you access to the live courses and you can you have full interaction with me during the courses you can raise your hand using the webinar tool you can type in questions and I answer them live during the class. You can also email me if you're doing the recorded courses. You can always email me or call me um, directly uh, if you have uh, questions either on your own project um, or on the course. And students do that uh, all the time, and I usually don't mind. It's not an issue. Um, unless, of course, you want me to write the application for you, <laughs> um, which I can I can help you with. But um, obviously, from time constraints, it becomes it can become an issue. So uh, let's say you want to watch uh, class number two. So each class, there's eight classes in a course, <clears throat> excuse me, eight classes in a course. And um, again, they last about 60 minutes plus or minus 15 minutes. So let's just go to this uh, particular class for Objective C. And here's the last recorded video. Anything that you needed for the class. So here's my um, hard-coded presentation in PDF formatted format. Here's any um, answers to any exercises or any other programs that we have um, for this particular course, as well as the homework um, that I recommended for the course as well. And then if you scroll down, you can see all, uh, all the other students' postings and or questions that they had that myself or other students jumped in to answer. All right. So you have access to that. So if you have questions, you can come here and look what other students have asked and see if that answers your question. And or you can um, you can email me or give me a call as well uh, if you're doing the recorded session. And then, of course, anytime if you want to take the live course, you just go to the particular course that you want 
and click on the webinar um, information and sign up and you're you're in the uh, the next uh, live webinar.